What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here. Welcome back to OG Fitness. So in today's video, I just want to give all you guys an update on my shoulder injury and what's going on there. So in my uh, last one or two videos, the one where I talked about uh, injury protocol, right? I mentioned that uh, I have a shoulder injury and that I'm not sure what I was going to do with it because I was still in, in, uh, in, in, in my competitive season for judo. I had like two competitions left and I was saying that maybe I might not do those competitions. It really depended on what the doctor and the sports physio was going to say. So essentially my season is over for now, right? So I went to see my sports physio about uh, two weeks ago and he told me, listen, your shoulder, all right, the best thing we should do right now is in his opinion, stop all sparring, right? So, and then from there, we give it two weeks, right? Just to heal up on its own. And then I go back and see him uh, in two weeks. And then he's gonna give me a set of exercises and it'll be done. You know, it'll take about maybe six weeks, uh, six to eight weeks, shoulders perfect. And we're back in action. Now, in those two months, there's two competitions. So he said the one that's coming up next weekend, right? Forget that one, right? Because it's too close. We can't, you know, we're just gonna, we won't take the chance. It's not worth taking the chance to injure it, in his opinion. And I agree with him because listen, I'm not, it's not like if I'm trying out for the Olympics or anything like that, right? Like I'm doing this because it's to improve my judo. It's fun, I enjoy it, you know? And it's something that I want to do uh, for a very long time, as long as I can really. So sometimes you got to take two, two, three steps back so that, you know, you can keep moving forward. In, in your progression because if I just tough it out and, and do the meathead thing which is like oh no pain no gain no pain no gain blah 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 and despite sometimes what your coaches and and I think your uh, your your teammates you know like they go about their business you know like they might mean well and all that but sometimes I mean you know who are you gonna listen to guys who have a whole bunch of injuries that that never really heal up and that you know or you're gonna listen to your, your sports physio doctor. By the way, I paid $110 for that guy for one hour, right? And get this, next time I see him, which is uh, this coming week, this coming Tuesday, right? It's gonna be $88. So you're saying to yourself, well, yeah, it's cheaper, huh? That's great. No, no, it's $88 for 30 minutes for him just to give me my exercises. So all that to say that if you uh, pick, you know, if, if you believe in your, your sports physio, um, and I think that it's important that you do, right? If you don't, then well, maybe change, right? But if you do, then you should like listen to their advice. So, and of course you use your own uh, common sense, right? So I'm gonna listen to my physio. So I haven't, uh, I haven't did, done any sparring in the past two weeks and my season is over in my mind. Uh, even though my sports physio told me, listen, it'll take about six weeks to eight weeks. And then after that, maybe that last competition you'll be able to do. But his recommendation was really, you know what, let's just call it quits for now, uh, okay? Let's heal up the shoulder, okay? Two weeks, let it heal up a little bit, you know? So I, I can't, that's why I stopped sparring because I can't do anything that's unpredictable, you know? And sparring is, well, unpredictable. I can do drills, I could, uh, I could do technique, but that's about it. And even then, I gotta tell my partner, right? Hey, I have a shoulder injury. Can you please attack on my left arm? This is my left arm. I know when you guys see it, it's, it's a little bit um, in reverse, but this is my left arm, trust me. <laughs> so I would tell my partners to, to attack on this arm instead. And even me, I found out, by the way, that I have uh, scler sclerosis. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But essentially, my spine is deviated like to the... Um, uh, to the right side. And the reason for that is because I'm always attacking on, uh, on my right side in judo because I'm, I'm right-handed, right? And uh, so that's another story. Like for me to rebalance that out, I'm going to have to work my musculature on the other side, the left side, which, is, which means that I have to practice make, doing throws on my left side, which makes me uh, adds to my toolbox, so to speak, right? But it's not enough just to do it in, uh, in, in, in judo practice. I have to do it in the weight room too. So I'm going to start incorporating that. Um, but that's for another video. Uh, I'll get into that because I think it's very important to, to get into a little bit more detail about how you should balance out your musculature, especially when you're doing sports where uh, you're either right-handed or left-handed, right? Um, so to get back to what I was saying, I'm going to listen to my physio, even though 
my coaches are like, yeah, it's the last two competitions, you should do it, blah, 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 blah. And as much as I respect my, my, uh, my judo coach, my judo coaches, because I got uh, two free of them, uh, but the competition judo coach, who I'm really close with, despite, though I respect them a lot, you know, certain things, you know, like, not that I don't respect his opinion on, but certain things I think I have... Uh, a more cautious, I, I, I don't want to say intelligent, I, I'm, I'm more conservative, right? Uh, I'm a little bit older than him, not by much. I think we're about five years apart, some, something like that, you know, more or less. Five years, yeah, five, anyways, whatever. So about five years apart, you know, I'm 40, he's maybe 35 or less, you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, five years is not a big difference. And I know he likes to tough, tough out, like he, he likes to tough it out because that's the way he, he, he sees it. But in my opinion, it's not worth it. Because here's the thing. I, right now, this shoulder, I can get it fixed in about six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks compared to the rest of the time uh, for the rest of my life doing judo. It's nothing. It's, it's a speck of dust in, in my timeline, right? And my sports medicine doctor who referred me to my sports physio told me, listen, think of it this way. It's like a wet paper bag, right? Now, if you have a wet paper bag, you can put one can in it, it's good. Two cans, three cans, but you don't know when that one, when that last can, which, which can it's gonna be, you know, that's going to rip that bag. So essentially what she's saying is that right now it's okay, it's, it's there, you know, but we really don't know what it's gonna take to like really damage it, damage that shoulder like, in a major, major way. Right now, it could still be fixed according to my sports physio in six, eight weeks. So fuck it, I'm doing that. I'm not listening to no, uh, to, 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 my, uh, to my competition coach's uh, meathead approach. Like, yeah, just do it, just do it. Cause I've had this nagging injury for, um, um, for months now, you know? And I should have checked it out earlier, but I thought it was going away. I was doing mobility work and it got better, but then it got worse and it got better. So then finally I said, you know what, fuck it. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna heed my, my own advice that I, that, I, that I preach here on the channel regarding injury and I'll just you know, take care of it. So I did. And uh, so luckily I didn't wait too long. Um, and that's because I've, I've done that before with uh, my elbow injury and then I had to have fucking surgery a couple of years later. So that, that, that completely sucked. So anyways, this is savable. I'm going to save it. All I'm going to do now is technique. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, no sparring, zero sparring, even on the ground. I tried doing it on the ground last time. And even then, it's, it's a, even though I, I don't use this side and I'm more cautious and stuff like that, but it's just too unpredictable, man. You know, so fuck it. Uh, no sparring whatsoever. Two weeks now, started to get better. You know, I can lift weights, obviously. It's not a problem. I can do technique, but it has to be very predictable and controlled. So I'm going to go with what my sports uh, physio told me, right? We're going to get this done. We're going to fix this elbow up, get it really strong. After that, season's over. I go into my training cycles to, to prep myself to get ready for September. And then we'll be back. I'll be back, um, I think stronger and better and you know injury free. So that's how I'm gonna go about it now. Every time I have an injury or I feel that oh something's wrong, I go see my 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 sports medicine doctor and if need be, boom, I end up in physio, I do my damn physio, and then I come back, you know? Like and meantime I could just focus on technique, right? I could be more uh I could train my mind, be more cerebral, learn more about the art, technique. There's like so much technique, so much nuances and and, and things to learn in judo, in any martial art really, but in judo, uh, you know, it's, it, it would take like a second lifetime or even multiple lifetimes to really uh, get a good grasp of it. But anyways, this is the sport that I chose um, as, my, as my specialty. I appreciate all the other arts and when I do have time, it's, I'm, 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 I'm trying to make this happen guys so that eventually what, what it's gonna be is that I'm going to, um, really just focus on practicing martial arts and training my whole life. <laughs> and of course, you know, uh, documenting it, uh, recording it and sharing it on YouTube and stuff like that. And so that's it. Okay, guys, I hope that was, um, I just want to give you guys an update on that. So 
Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. Of course, if you like this video, uh, like it, subscribe, share. Sharing is caring. Oh, by the way, um, I want to apologize for a, a few of the videos I put up uh, recently. The audio was completely crap. And I just realized now that uh, it had to do with my microphone because this microphone that I have here, it has two mics, you know, so I can do interviews. Mind you, I haven't done one yet, but whatever. I, I just bought that one. It was a couple of bucks more. But one of the mics was actually fucked up. So like I use the other and, you know, they're not uh, distinguishable. So you use this mic or that mic, they look exactly the same. So I used one and there was one that didn't work. And I just realized it now. And that's why the audio was complete garbage. So I apologize uh, about that. I'm going to return this shit. And I'm going to just get another one. And uh, that's it. And also, um, I'm going to put a link down below, right? Because I started a new, new YouTube channel. Because for those of you guys who don't know, I'm really into um, personal development. You know? So, and, and like I read a lot of books on, on history, on psychology on self-help, on, um, I read biographies too, you know, I read business books, I read books on, um, really all kinds, of course, I read books on, on martial arts and fitness also, so I made a channel, uh, you know, like, more about books, like, books that I read, and what I do is that I, it's five-minute videos, I don't make it longer than five minutes, and then I just share, like, a, a golden nugget, like, something that I, I, um, or what do you call it? Like that I find helpful in that book, and then I share it with I share it with uh, uh, with people in a video uh, under five minutes. So it's uh, if you guys are interested, you know, if you guys are into self help and you know books in general, not I, I don't read fiction, guys. So it's really all like biographies. I read a little bit of history, uh, science, philosophy, uh, business books, how to books, you know, uh, sports books, uh, nutrition books, you know. Stuff like that. Stuff that really has to do with um, me getting a, a, a better, you know, wider knowledge base, more get more educated, get more, get smarter and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested, I'll put the link down below. It's called Golden Nugget Book Review. Um, so whoever, for those of you guys who are actually interested in that, then go check it out. And that's it for this one, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much. Peace.